How are you everybody? Jono here from NZ Fun Adventures. We're going to show you the uh, Dwight's Enterprise Shelter, inflatable shelter today. Uh, do a quick walk through, show you a couple of tips um, that I've found on there uh, with using it, which, um, which will make you set up and um, hopefully your pack down really easy. So let, let's go for a walk. Here we go, there she is. All set up, it's a pretty windy day. Took, I don't know, 10 minutes to set up. Super flat floor. Not too hard. So just do a quick little quick walk through. We've got one side down here. Just throwing a bit of shade because the sun's coming from here, so virtually the whole inside is shaded. You could put the other one in just to get finish it right off, but a bit of a pan around. It's just such an awesome, uh, awesome way to see everywhere around you when you're camping. Big open mesh windows. And then obviously there we go, you can see if you decided to put all the sides down it would look like that. Considerably cooler inside. It's not a blackout or anything but at the end of the day it's um, so much more cooler inside with the shade it provides. Um, and obviously that sun protection, which would be a really crucial thing. Um, and the doors, so you've got two doors at each end, massive big doors. Um, you've got obviously the, the, outer, the outer door, which you can use as a shade. Um, and pull that out for a shade. And then you've got a fly screen door as well, which is just that more mesh. Um, to zip down and close that off um, to keep those bugs out, which uh, everybody is talking about these days. So that zips down there. You've got another one at the other end. So today we've just got that rolled all the way up. Don't need to peg that one out as well, but you could do if you needed. On the outside of the um, shelter, we've got these straps to stabilize the uh, air poles. So you can see that. Really simple to use. It just tensions here. Just separate the two pull it nice and tight and then with any slack you can uh, slide that down to tidy it up what I like to do because um, you can see it there just sort of vibrating along in the wind I like to put a couple of twists in it like that um, and re peg it out just with a twist in um, and what that does is that just removes the vibration that happens in the in the strap when you've got a flat strap like that and wind it just sits away and vibrates all day, which can be annoying. So we can see it just happening on that one there. Makes a vibration sound, which um, some people find annoying. But you pull a, put a few twists in it like this, and it's sorted. And I'm just walking around the tent, or I might show you just here. We've got the valve. So you've got three of these on every second pole. So deflating the tent becomes really simple. You just take the cover off and then on the inside you've got a closed direction and you've got an open direction. The problem is you can't turn this. All right? This doesn't want to turn for those people that go, ah, oh, it won't work. All right? The trick here, not really a trick, it's pretty smart really, is in the other side of the cap is the key, if you want to call, let's call it a key, and that just sits over there and you turn it into the open position. I'm not gonna do it now because it'll collapse. All right, so that's really simple. You wanna do that um, when it's time to pack up, you wanna do that on each of the valves, which will allow the tent to fully deflate as you're rolling it up. There's a little trick. Now somebody asked um, about the floor. So we've got the floor inserted which you're going to want to do, makes it nice and tidy and stops grass coming in, etc. Um, just under here, under each of the poles at the base, there is a little D, plastic D-clip, and the tent floor clips onto that. You'll find that by just lifting the base of the air pole up, and that D-ring sits underneath it. Hard to find if you don't know it's there, but that's where it is, and you do it in each one of the each one of the pole bottoms. All right. So I think um, if you can see out there, the trees are 
trees are definitely moving. She's a windy day today. But down here inside the Dwight's inflatable shelter, Enterprise shelter, she's nice and sturdy. Doesn't want to go anywhere. So for all of you that are questioning um, wanting shelters in high wind and all those sort of things, my sort of go-to is um, to always just be careful um, about putting your tents up in high wind, make sure it's pegged out correctly, etc. Um, but, you know, I'd use this in almost any weather if you know what you're doing with it. So then just lastly, while we're talking about weather, we can see here how we've pegged this out with the guy rope. So we've gone over the top with this, it's down, it's looped in under, and it's pulling the pole down and out. So even though the wind's wanting to lift it off, it can't, it, it will take the pole with it. And it can't take this off and the pole can't drop out the bottom, um, causing dramas and having it collapse on you. That's a little trick on how to how to get that standing up nice and neat. There we go, I'll just come out here now, back into the wind. Sorry for that if it's windy and noisy. But there she is. Alright, have a great day guys.